Big scene for this thing from taking nails that ain't never been seen. What you mean? You ain't see her with the gleam. No, she grind, no, she shine, no, she blink. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she grinding, no, she shining, now you know she got a blink. Came from grinding, now she shining, now you know she got a blink. Wait, hold up. Flex on them like Tyler Clark. Think you do it better? Hold my drink, we about to set it off. She is not a star. She above it like the sky's the bar. We've been going hard. Hype train, we aboard them all. Haters, we avoid them all. Same place, same time, staying on go. You ain't know she the go. Gaming over anything. You can bring it to the ring or we can settle on the screen. Cthulhu or Charlie couldn't settle on the name. But boo hoo, not sorry, she leveled up the rank. She'll probably get a Charlie horse by the way she running things. Since every stream of party, Charlie Brown, cause I'm just chilling with my dogs and everything is on the house. So if you see I'm point them out, I feel like Bosley and a Mozzie. Got that Charlie Angel style. What up, Shayna? This a banger. Puppy Woo to hold it down. Better follow, give us up, getting hype, cause we got a lot of games, but ain't got a lot of time are you hanging with the gang it's a mad dog life from the green on the screen to the checks on the nikes all these big time dreams came from bioshock frights we ain't tripping on the small stuff doing big things big deals big wheels watch us cause a big scene for this thing from taking nails that ain't never been seen what you mean you ain't see us with the gleam no we grind no we shine no we blink no we grinding no we shining now you know we got a blink came from grinding now we shining now you know we got a Charlie. Cause we got a lot of games, but ain't got a lot of time. Oh, you hanging with the gang? It's a mad dog life from them G4 chairs to them fresh night gears. All them big time dreams came from little nightmares. She ain't tripping on the small stuff, doing big things, big deals, big wheels. Watch her cause a big scene for this thing from taking nails that ain't never been seen. What you mean? You ain't see her with the gleam. No, she grind, no, she shine, no, she blink. No, she grinding, no, she shining, now you know she got a blink. Okay, here we go again. My audio is not on. Hello, what's up? Let me just scroll back real quickly. Oh, um, hi. shit. Here we go again. Rob, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I don't know why the chat keeps moving when I don't want it to move. Robert. Robert? Oh my god. Robert! Where'd you go? Okay, anyway, Jack, thank you for the two months. Um, David, thank you for the 43. Oh my gosh, 43 months. Coda, thank you for the 13 months. Kevin, thank you for... 13 months? We are so back. We are so back, baby. Um, Casey, thank you for the five gifted subs. If you just got gifted subs, you should have been gifted up. Big Mac, big. Oh, I lost you. Oh, Dude, there has shit. to be a way to like have this stop again. moving. <laughs> it's not your guys' fault. Everyone just stop typing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, I hate it. Oh my God, oh, Jane. Shit. Here we go again. Oh, hold on, let me get to that real quick. Okay, Robert, thank you for the seven. We Dave, thank you for the ten. Spoon, thank you for the forty-four. 44 months, get, oh my god, please. <laughs> the man them three consider a five star hotel what? smoking cigarette, mixing Cody and up with a Finnegan. She got thick, but she wanna get um, Finnegan. Mac, Drinking Mac, apple oh, cider oh, vinegar, oh, wearing skim, cause she wanna be Bo, Bo, Bo. Here we go Bo, again. Thank you for the four months. Flux and flow, thank you for 29, hello. Sam, <clears throat> thank you for the 11. Oh my god, yeah, I've been gone like two weeks. Cap Kidman, thank you for the 23. <laughs> Kidman, thank you for the 23. Chicky, thank you for the... <laughs> the whole stream is just going to be this. Chicky, thank you for the 23. Uh, Invaded Sim Gur, thank you for the sub. Read that good. James, thank you for the... Tw what? <laughs> oh, Ten shit. Here we go again. Ten set, thank you for the 23. James, with the 25... Good girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, golly. What is happening? Guys. James. 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 
Thanks, thank you for the 25 gifted subs, what the heck? Okay, yeah, level 9 hype train, makes sense. Um, if you just got a gifted sub, be sure to thank your gifter, because they baby angels, they don't need to do, oh my god. Patrick, thank you for the 43. Kater, thank you for, oh shit. Four of us. Jen's Zilla, thank you for the 43. Millie Rose, thank you for the 35. Sammy, thank you for the 6. Jacob, thank you for the 10. Hold on, almost there. I've almost caught up. First, <laughs> first to see the sub. RJC, life sound number 12. <laughs> da boss, thank you for the <laughs> sub. Oh, shit. Here we oh, go again. Okay, almost there. Alushel, thank you for the two months. Okay, okay, all right. And time. And time. The alerts are louder than me? Of course they are. Oh, my God. That whole time, the alerts have been louder than me. Richie, thank you for the three months. Don't make me say all that again. I'm so sorry. Thank you, everyone. Of course they were louder. That's so stupid. Anyway, sorry. I'm not doing all that again. Uh, as much as I am very, very appreciative. Uh, that was... Hi, everybody. Jen Jen, thank you for the 30. Welcome back, party. RCS, thank you for the seven. Um, so how's everyone doing? Lewis, sorry, almost missed you there. Thank you for the five. What's up? Conan, thank you for the four. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy is good. She was, she was, you know, a mess. But um, how's everyone doing? How is this time of the year for y'all? If you celebrate, what's good? Stella, thank you for the twenty-four months. I sincerely, Ariana, sincerely, Ariana. <laughs> what's happening? First of all, oh no, here we go again. Okay, sincerely, sincerely, Ariana, thank you for the 50 bomb. What the f actual, oh my God. Okay, if you just got to give the sub, be sure to thank Ariana. Um, Wild Freeze, thank you for, what the heck, for the sub. Crispy, hi Crispy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, <laughs> Awkward Vegas, thank you for the 24. Jensilla, thank you for the gifted sub. Fate, thank you for the five. Oh my days, what is even the, what is the hype train right now? I'm out of breath. Just level 12, good. All right, Fate, thank you for the five gifted subs. The Real Sketch, thank you for the seven months. Charmed, thank you for the 28 months. Dude, please, F1 Robotic, thank you for the 12, one year. If, please, if you got, it's so chaotic. Would you guys expect anything else though? Harry, thank you for the gifted sub. If you got a gifted sub, be sure, be sure to thank your gifter. So I never have to do that. I don't even have asthma and I need an inhaler right now. No, no. Holiday at home was beautiful. I'm scared. This chat has my heart rate up like, oh my God. I can't. I can't, I can't. Stop! <laughs> Please! I've never even heard that alert before. Well, maybe I missed it the first time. What? <laughs> Coping with silence. Thank you for the sub. Sincerely, Ariana. Oh my god. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> okay. Mike, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate it. Latin nerd, thank you for the gifted sub. Sincerely, Ariana. <laughs> okay, Clive, thank you for the six months. If you just got a gifted sub, be sure to thank your gifter. Please. Please, please do that. The woman is sick, let her breathe. I'm I'm having a, a, a asthma attack. I don't even have asthma. Bravo, 44 months, let's go. Uh, I'm obsessed with Alan Wake. Um... Ever since we stopped playing it, like whenever, whenever that was, like two weeks ago or whatever, um, it's been on my mind. It's been in my brain. You know what I mean? I've been watching so many videos about like the backstory and stuff because I'm invested. Um, John Boy, thank you for the twenty months. Appreciate it. You're loving our podcast with Selena. 
appreciate it, Savage Owl. We're going to we're gonna be back to doing um, the alerts are like triggering me in a good way, but they're still triggering me somehow. So just, you know, there's that. <laughs> are you for real right now? Okay, all right. Oh my god, I can't. I'm logging off. Stream's over. Stream's done. Okay, bam, bam. Thank you for the five. What the heck is happening? CM Origins, Mr. Chris. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. <gasps> oh my god. Again, Harry, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. How was buying, Zelina? <laughs> um. If you just got a gifted sub, I have to catch up with the. If you just got a gifted sub, please thank your gifter for doing that, because they never, they never have to. And ha yeah, oh, pfft, I can't even speak words right now. Code is control. Thank you for the five. Fate. Thank you for the gifted sub. Sober David. Thank you for the forty-four. Why M? Why F M Loco? Thank you for. The oh shit me. <sighs> thank you for the two months. Thank you, Rich. Thank you for the gifted sub. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. How long have I been gone, you guys? Like from streaming specifically. Baby angels everywhere. Yes. Has it been like a couple weeks? Shames, thank you for the 16 months. Here's to a happy 2024. You freaking know it, baby. Here's to being able to wrestle again. <laughs> so, so soon. So close. So freaking close. Um, how was everyone's holiday? I'm sorry, I can't read chat right now. I'm trying, I'm really trying. Stop it, don't. Do you love me? Robino, thank you for the nine months. That, that, that alert is triggering me. <laughs> I don't know. All right, um, yes, I can't wait to get back in the ring either. Um... GTA trailer was one of our last ones. Really? <laughs> Zach! <laughs> uh, good grief. Um, so, yes, home was great. Uh, I don't think there's anyone in chat right now. Is there anyone, is there, is there anyone that's like a Kiwi that can attest to my accent being thicker? Or did, was it not long enough to get to re recharge like that? Patrick, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please thank your gifter because they are a baby angel. Puppy is good. Okay. <laughs> you got an Udi? Wait, what's an Udi? I thought you just smelt, smelt hoodie, but what is a hoodie? I mean, an Udi. What is an Udi? Is that like a variation of a hoodie? I'm a Kiwi, your accent rock. Yeah, but your accent stayed the same. What does that mean, though? I'm really triggered by this, you guys. I really don't want to have... I, I love... Like, I, I, I'm grateful to live here. Please, don't get me wrong. Don't ever get it twisted. I am so grateful to live here. But I really... I really... <laughs> does sound a tad recharged and I'm not a Kiwi. But I can't trust that. Of course it's going to sound Kiwi to you guys that aren't... You know, our American. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend. <laughs> Time taker. Thank you for the five months. Um, but yeah, being back home was great. I is it alerts delayed or something? You're sounding a little Americanish to me. Ugh. I mean, a little Americanish. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Professional meat pie reviewer. Dude. Uh, you know what sucks? We were meant to do more, but I just didn't get around to it because time did not let me. If I'm talking to you casually, your accent is thicker. In terms of being like on the Kiwi side of things type vibe, because, okay, I will take it. Um, Tag, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. If you just got a gifted sub, please thank your gifter. How, does US nature look boring compared to New Zealand? All right, so like, there's like beautiful, 
there's beautiful places all over the world. Um, there's beautiful places here. There's beautiful places in New Zealand. There's beautiful places everywhere. I feel like they're like, it's like, yes, I sound more Kiwi. Sick. <laughs> Sick. Radical. Thank you for the two gifted subs. I feel like, <laughs> Charlie, your chat is wilding. Hella glad to be back. Thank you. I appreciate it. 24 going to be lit though. Yeet. Good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be great. Edmund, thank you for the gifted sub. Anonymous gifter. Thank you for the one, two, three gifted subs. Appreciate it. Please thank your anon gifter or whoever your gifter was. Are we at what, 17 what, a hype tree? Oh yes, uh, the link, you guys. I, I keep, I always point this way, but it's wherever at the top of chat. Um, that is Zelina and my podcast. We're going to be filming more content next week. We're going to be back into it. Um, so please follow on YouTube and audios are uploaded on Spotify too. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. We've had some time off. Um, as I was saying, mega thank you for the 42 months i did have a great trip home thank you it wasn't long enough but it was it was needed you know what i mean it's quite hard to get home especially because the flight time is like one of the longest <laughs> from anyone in the cup like i don't rjc thank you for the five gifted subs thank you any plans on doing an uncensored version of the podcast ah uh, what do you mean by that like dropping f-bombs like swearing <laughs> You don't like the censorship? <laughs> like the dolphin noise? Um, Zelina swears, like she, that's her second language right there, but we can't do an uncensored version. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that though. Did I get egged? No! Okay, Danny, thank you for the tink of the subs. Going back, let me get back to the egg situation real quick, Ty Five. Um, Again, beautiful places everywhere. New Zealand is smaller, so there's a lot more concentrated beauty, if that makes sense. But in the States, you've got like Denver, Colo like Colorado area, and then you've got like Cali. Like there's a lot of pretty places everywhere. Living in Florida, like it's nice here, but don't get me wrong, it's, fl it's quite flat. It's quite humid, it's quite swampy. So it's like comparing that to this isn't fair, but like, I, you know. I don't know, is Denver nice? Danny, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> thank you. All right, so the egg situation. <laughs> um, we were driving out of the city in New Zealand. If you saw my story on Insta, you guys would have seen the debacle that was the egg incident. Someone, so like we're just driving, we're turning around a corner and then like just something like hits the screen and it sounds like it cracks. The screen, I mean, not the egg. I don't know what it was. I thought it was a rock that like hit our screen and I'm like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Bruh, how I get egged in 2023. That's what I'm saying. Who does that? Probably just some nine year old getting their kicks or something like that. <laughs> but we were worried that uh, it sounded like it cracked the windshield. No, we checked it and it wasn't. And we like, we stopped, we pulled over to the side of the road before we get to the car wash and just pouring water down the side because like it's egg. You don't want that shit to dry. A very untalented cook. <laughs> James, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, I'm gonna egg someone now. It came from like the top. It wasn't just someone standing on the side of the road because you wouldn't do that. You'd be trying to do it from an area where you can't be seen. So someone from like a rooftop or something like that. Um, yeah, so today's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so yeah then we had to go to the car wash place to scrub that crap off which means she needed a car wash anyway so it worked out but i'm just saying do more with your life <laughs> do more with it even if you're a nine-year-old do more with your life that's all i'm saying or don't who am i to tell you what to do <laughs> the 22nd of your birthday happy birthday belated it's all good. Johnny flew to New Zealand just to egg me. Oh, he would do that too. He's definitely someone that would do that. 100%. Simple person behavior right there. <laughs> Phoenix. Yeah, that was the symbol of everything right now. <laughs> Kathy flying to New Zealand to see you. All right. So let me just... My little muffin man. 
Let me just, um, let me just, what the heck? Let it, um, she, so that was a coincidence, um, although it was really cool to see her, but her mom was saying that New Zealand was a bucket list place. I think they booked their travel like two weeks before or something like that, something really quite, um, last minute. But the reason why they went is because her mom wanted to go to New Zealand. And and Kathy obviously knows me. So she's like, oh, yeah, sure, let's go. It, w it was a coincidence that our, our window, like our time uh, frame that we were over there crossed over. Because she literally landed and then we I was driving out of, um, hello? I was driving out of, oh, God, sorry. I had, I don't know why my text, the text alert. Okay, you guys can relate. If you're on like vacation, I, I never have that on actually, what the hell? I get a little bit of anxiety if it's from work. <laughs> like, please, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still on vacation, please, please don't. We start back next week, don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, uh, it was very cool seeing her though. And she had a really good time. KRPV, thank you for 13 months. All right, we're in a chill sort of, state right now <laughs> yes Jin Jin I'm like please no I'm a, you don't do it I'm, I'm not even no don't um just been doing rehab did I get a feed or a boil up there while here no 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 umu none of that my mom cooked some like Samoan food but not enough not enough it's very difficult to get like pacifica food here um spiciest girl in all wrestling what the heck is that a compliment <laughs> what is spi guys is spicy a compliment or is that an insult um rehab's going good did some today we on track Love hitting the gritty in front and <laughs> love you hitting the gritty two weeks in a row on SmackDown LMAO. Guys, it was in front of the Packers too. No fear. No fear. Not that like it could do anything. What would they do? Just tackle me? <laughs> okay, good. Sorry guys, the lingo. I don't I'm not I'm not with it. <laughs> Depends. Alright. You get your first ever wage on Friday. Congratulations. That's a grown ass uh, move right there. They need to add you in Fortnite already. I do not play Fortnite. I tried it once. I'm just not good. I'm just not good and I have a real hard time playing against like 10 year olds that are better than me and then they also shit talk me. You know what I mean? My pride won't let me do that. I guess I could play with friends. I know like Mia's been playing a bit but it just... I'm a, I'm like a story driven game guy. Tiny, thank you for the sub. Steven, thank you for the 21 months. What were the what did the hype train get up to, you guys? What was it? I can't see cuz I can't see. Was it like 12, 14, 12. Level 15. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Did you ever find your name in the cement? No, I didn't. Almost 17? Coda's kick, thank you for the gift of sub. Um, hi Sam. No, never found it. Never ended up flip story games on top. <laughs> Guys, I have a lot of really like weird stories. Not even just recently, like just childhood stories mostly involve me getting embarrassed in one way or another. It's just, that's just, that just be, that just be my life. It's fine. <laughs> Hi, Vipers. What's up? What were we talking about? I sorry, I got sidetracked. Get the online youths. Uh, get the online youths calling you a c word on Fortnite. Yeah, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that in my life. I'm good to play like story driven games where it's just me, and the story's real good. That's why I loved Alan Wake so much. Like, I'm so much. I love that game. There's so many layers to it too. I had no idea. But that's 100% my game of the year. I know we said only up, but I feel like 
for the bants. For the cheeky bants, Only Up was definitely a, a moment in time. But for a game, the game, <laughs> um, it's 100% Alan Wake 2. Because that game is really cool. Radical, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, what have I been playing? So when I traveled back home, uh, I was playing Control, which is in the Alan Wake universe. That's why I was playing that. I know I said I was going to stream it, but we can stream the second one. I just really wanted to start, so sorry. I swear the Only Up saga lasted longer than it really did. How It felt like it went on for a long time. How long did it actually... How long did Only Up go for? Like a month? Was it a month? How long were all my flights? Generally... From LAX to Auckland, it's about 13 and a half hours, 13, 13 and a half hours. And then from LAX to Florida, Orlando, Florida, it's about five, four and a bit, five. And then, you know, you're adding on like layover time is a bitch because I'm kind of someone that I need to like give myself a, a little bit of time. You know what I mean? I don't want to be rushing from the international terminal to domestic and have to go through customs and be like frantically running. So I usually give myself a little bit more time, depends on what flights are available and stuff. But my flight over there, so let me just say this. I was, after SmackDown, we were in Green Bay. Boo, Green Bay, boo. No, I was <laughs> boo, Packers, boo. Um, I was in the airport, it's like five in the morning, I was with Cassie and um, Bailey because we were all flying to, you know, the West Coast. Uh, and I'm it, I, my bag's checked into LAX. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to board this flight to LAX. And boo packers, yay, green, but oh, God. Uh, and then my flight from LAX to New Zealand, I get the notification that it's cancelled. Just straight up, just cancelled. I'm like, and I am start freaking out to Bailey and Kathy. I'm like, can they do that? They can't do that, can they? That's a really big flight to just straight up cancel on the day that I have to catch it. And I'm already going to LAX, so what the heck? So we, I get on the plane because there's nothing I can do. Woo, boo, cheese heads. I get on the plane because there's nothing I can do at this point. My, pl my, bla my bag's already going there. We'll figure it out. In my mind, I'm like, I will literally have to get my bag. And if there's no flights out in the next day or two, I'm going to be flying back. Cool, James. Thank you for the eight months. I did have a good time. Thank you. You know what I mean? I was like, well, I guess I'm flying to LAX. So I'm going to turn around and come right back to beautiful Florida. So, <laughs> karma for greedying. Uh, excuse me. I think a lot of people would have thanked me for doing that. <laughs> so, we go there. I'm trying to rebook because Air New Zealand, which is the flight that got cancelled, apparently they said that the flight nev the plane never left Auckland because of some hydraulic leak or something like that. So it was still in New Zealand. There's no way they could have made it back in time, whatever. So I'm like walking around. I'm like, oh my God, I'm checking flights. There's one available that takes me from LAX to San Francisco and then San Francisco to Auckland. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Actually, it's me in 10 minutes earlier, whatever. And then New Zealand like rebooked me, but it took them way too long. Like I just was like, I'm just going to do this right now because watch them rebook me on a flight that's like in a day or two. I have to stay in LA. I mean, not that that's a bad thing because I could have just crashed with Kathy, but then it's like less time home. So I'm like, I'm just booking it. They, they booked me. They booked me on a flight that got in like six hours later. And I'm like, y'all suck. Like, <laughs> Come on. I do your job better than you. So stupid. So I don't know if I'm going to fly in New Zealand again. I did that. Screaming Ninjas, thank you for the 21 months. There's just very limited planes, I guess, with Air New Zealand because it is like, I don't know, it's just a smaller airline, even though they go, I feel like I'm just going to book with United next time because even if a flight gets cancelled, there will be other planes. You can't just be, you know what I mean? There are a lot of planes in America that can get me there and back again or whatever. So stupid. But, you know, whatever. And Kathy had to walk with me around LAX to, like, make sure I got, she made sure I got checked in. She was an angel. She was an angel that day because I was stressed. I did not need that on top of a really stupid travel day. 
Ethan Parker, thank you for the 11 months. And Racing Classic Justin, thank you for the 13. God dang it, Air New Zealand. Yeah. If I had a private jet, oh my gosh. Can you imagine just flying from wherever to like a point? <sighs> no connections, no BS of planes, flights being cancelled. Like just a, oh, it's a dream right there. That's why I hate planes. You and me both, dude. Traveling in planes every week has made me hate them and the airport, which sucks because <laughs> I have to do it anyway. <laughs> But it's the worst. Kathy with the clutch. She was a real one that day. She was calming me down. She was walking around with me. Minty, thank you for the 33 months. But yeah. Did you see the name of the Kathy and Kevin Owen show? No. What did they end up going with? Not the KOCK show? Oh, boo. I was rooting for that one. I was voting for that one. Did that not? Did that, did that not get? Did that not get chosen? Airport's just the worst place. Just buildings that contain just everyone at their worst, <laughs> including me. Including me. I'm tired. I look like shit. I don't want to be there. You know what I mean? I guess. Janzilla, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, uh, Berserker. I appreciate it. And also just having to sit there. Ugh, gosh. I don't know what's wrong with that name. No, neither do I. Why did she not? Thank you, Twister Bliss. Um, so, yeah. It was fun. Airport's not a cool place to sleep. No, and it's also not safe if you're by yourself. You know, you have all your stuff on you. I can't sleep at airports like that. I'll sleep on maybe the plane, but I, if I even if I have a long layover, I'll be in. I'll try and get into the lounge, but I can't. I don't know. I can't trust if you've got all your stuff on you and your passport and like, I just can't do it. I just can't do that. I wish. Well, not really. <laughs> what music have I been listening to lately? <sighs> I don't want to be that guy, but my taste is all over the place, especially now. It's super eclectic. <laughs> Ew, what a pick-me thing to say. I'm so sorry. I feel like we've had this conversation before and I've said that. Yeah. I'm super eclectic, actually. <laughs> I even started listening to country recently because at the performance center... Uh, there were a couple of the guys working out while I was there for rehab and they connected to the Bluetooth and they were playing some pretty cool country. And um, they asked me, they were like, hey, like, do you want any, do you want to listen to anything? I'm like, no, nah, actually, this is good. Like, I've been shazamming this stuff. It's dope. I, country is so underrated. Depends on the country, though. Some country, I'm a little bit like, personally, I just don't like it. But there's like a lot of new country. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> It wasn't Brooks and Briggs, no. <laughs> you what? Oh, God. Guys, I listen to other stuff too. I'm not just solely a country gal. Oh, Tie 5, you like country too? Depends on the country. It depends. I don't know if I'm into the classic country. I don't know. Maybe I am. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Garth Brooks. See, I don't know. I know music, like songs. I don't know who sings it. Morgan Wallen. He's cool. You hate country. I thought I did too. We don't have country in New Zealand. I mean, we can ex access country music, but it's not like a thing. Country is very American. And I never really listened to it. Except for like my mom listening to Shania Twain, which I don't even think counts. And what's his name? Achy Breaky Heart Guy. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus, like Dixie Chicks, like that's the extent of my knowledge just because my mom used to listen to them. George Strait, I don't know who that is. Listen to Lurleen Lumpkin, best country singer. I've never heard that name before in my life, but I will. I'm open to any of your suggestions, but again, country, good Hi, Old Bear. What's up? 
country. Martinez, thank you for the five gifted subs. If you just got a gifted sub, be sure to thank your gifter because they are a what? Luke Combs, yeah. He's dope. As I was saying, Mida, you got like, what is my playlist right now? I mean, my light songs is like a little bit of drum and bass, a little bit of country, a little bit of metal, a little bit of rock. Um, we got some experiments on there, rap, hip hop, obviously. Um, yeah. Even like top 50, I like, you know, if it's catchy, I'll listen to it. I don't, I don't, um, really discriminate against anything. I don't, even like classical music, something about it is, can be cool, you know, if I'm in the mood for it. Montgomery Gentry. All right. Okay. Double J gimmick. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we're at right now. A little bit of techno, marshmallow, yes. System of a down, yes. I love Sod. Guys, I've seen like Tool live. <laughs> and Ramstein. And, um, oh God, what is the other? Oh my God, I'm so bad. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm basically, you know, <laughs> what the flip is that band? Oh my God. Chase and sta status. Chase and status oh, ended up in my top five Spotify rap just because of one song. If I listen to a song and I like it, it's on repeat. So that was kind of like a, I wish they did something or Spotify did something on the rap that was taking into account like, different songs as opposed to repeating just one because they would have never ended up there had it not been for you know what I mean like Kendrick was two I am I into rock music it's yes I get behind a lot of rock music what's the name of the band that's like tool oh my god I've forgotten I've forgotten Azure thank you for the 12 months happy holidays what concerts have I been to? A perfect circle? Not a perfect circle, no. Not Nine Inch Nails. Oh my gosh. What are they called? No. Not Slipknot. <sighs> Whoever gets it, gets a shout out. <laughs> what, what the heck are they called? Not Slayer, not Metallica, no. I have been to a Metallica concert too, though. <laughs> Uh, don't discriminate. No, no, oh, man. Maybe they're not like tall. Oh my god. Mm. What was the question? A band. It's like I'm trying to think. It. I it doesn't even matter at this point. It's just annoying me now because they sing deaf to deaf tones. Deaf tones. Is it deaf tones? Yeah, I've seen deaf tones live. Thank you, Jay Havoc. I know you said that after I, uh, you sent that before I said it. So, yeah. Like Tool or maybe Atomic and <laughs> trying to guess a band based on only like Tool or maybe not. Yeah, I'm real bad at like explaining. <sighs> it's in my head. I'm just, per. But yeah, my first ever concert was S Club 7. <laughs> I don't remember how old I was. It was the best. Mine took piss off. Sam Origins, are you just playing with me? Because if it is, that's, that's crazy. S Club 7 were never really big here in the States like they were in the UK and um, U New Zealand and stuff, were they? Were they? Martinez, thank you for the 43 months. Guys, were they? Because I know there's certain bands that were big, like, in the Commonwealth that weren't necessarily big here. They have a show. You'd say so? Really? I just know that there's, like, some bands from the UK that were, um, you know, only big in the Commonwealth. 
I don't know if they were big here, but I did buy their debut CD. Same and steps. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. It's like bands like um, Westlife and I don't know. I can't think right now. Noah, thank you for the four months. Also thicker, accent thicker. I can, can I confirm? Let's go. Yes. Who is my favorite member of S Club 7? I don't remember them. The brown haired girl. The short brown haired girl because she had brown hair. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> What's wrong with Barney and the Wiggles? Who's, who's crapping on Barney and the Wiggles? No slander for Wiggles in chat. Or Barney, I guess, but especially the Wiggles. Have I ever watched Wing Club? That show is amazing. Oh, guys. Also, um, I just started watching the One Piece live action. And I'm not a good person to sort of give a review of it in terms of like, I know nothing about, I don't even know what it was about pirates. <laughs> I like started watching it. I was like, oh, it's a pirate story. But like. I don't know anything about the manga and the anime or anything. I don't know who any of the actors and actresses are. But, like, it's so good. I've only seen the first episode. But I really like it. You didn't like it? Wait, walk off the ninth. Do, are you an anime guy? <gasps> Dink! Dink! <laughs> Dink! Thank you for the raid. What's up, my dude? Merry holiday. You piece of shit. No, <laughs> You filthy animal. Filthy is such a weird word to say. Filthy. <laughs> filthy. Hello, Dink. What's up? Alina, thank you for the 12 months. <laughs> thank you for the 41 months. You absolute trash bag of a human. <laughs> I hope DPW's been fun. You bleeding all over the place. Ugh. Bradical, thank you for the two gifted subs. Tesco, thank you for the advanced sub. Johnny does smell. He's a piece of crap. Filthy seems like such an aggressive word. Yeah, for no reason. It's also weird to say. Like, fil 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 filthy. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Iron Claw yet. No. I haven't seen Iron Claw yet. I do want to. It's on the list, uh, like a whole bunch of other stuff, but I just don't, I don't have the time. I'm so sick of the abuse. Dude, you abuse, not saying that, not saying that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Uh, hi Donny. Would I ever get into Marvel? I'm not really a big like comic book guy. I mean, I lie. I'm not a big Marvel and DC guy. <laughs> <laughs> no one knew knew what I was gonna say anyway. So yeah, I'm not a big Marvel and DC guy. I do appreciate the shows and stuff, but I like I've said before, the um the Marvel universe is really really big. It's too big. It's really difficult to keep up with anything they do because they release like 20 movies a year and shows and everything. Moving swiftly on. I like Image. Yes, I like Image Comics. I'm a sucker for Saga and Image Comics. But I wouldn't really call myself like a DC guy or a Marvel guy because I'm just not. Heal up so we can fight, bro. I am about to get cleared, and you don't want the smoke, so stay bleeding over there. <laughs> bro, I will put you in a trash can. I will throw you off the edge of a cliff, all right? You don't want to mess with me. I will cut you with paper. I will give you paper cuts in between each of your fingers, and then, like, no, no, EJ movement. It's not a thing. 
Don't make it a thing. <laughs> uh, you said you weren't a cat guy either, and then you played with the stray. Wait, when did I play with the stray cat? I don't think I would have played with a stray cat. Wait. Oh, and then I played Stray. The game, Stray. I was like, I will literally ruin you, but okay. Bro, you're already ruined. You're halfway out the door. I don't need to do much to ruin you. So, bye bye Bye-bye. <laughs> bye the game, Stray, yeah. I was a bit confused because I was like, when did I play with a Stray cat? I feel like I wouldn't have done that because, you know. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. That's just not a thing. I, I don't... I'm digging a hole. But yeah, I do love Stray, the game. It's so cute. No. Yeet. Bro. Please. Hey, Diabetes. What's up? What is up? What is up? Well, there was a cat backstage at a show recently. There was. I wasn't there for that one because I'm not traveling for live events and stuff yet. But yes, there was. Bailey is the cat mom of the group. Also, Eo likes cats too. I feel like I like cats, but I'm like, I'm more of a dog person, I guess. Ah, screw it. I'm an animal person. I, I don't want to be that. I, I'm, I'm whatever. Charlie versus 100 cats at WrestleMania. They will win because my allergies will not let me win. I am, I have sinus, like allergies, probably 90% of the time. I really should get that checked, actually. <laughs> so I can actually breathe through my nose. <laughs> Mia is experiencing a spectrum internet ah oh, experiencing an internet issue oh she's about to go live oh uh, not the internet issues that's the worst I'm surprised I didn't get anything today what did I get puppy for Christmas? she got toys she got snacks she got the same old same old stuff she always gets you know I don't know what we have in store for, like, a game in the future. Yeah, I've already jinxed it, CM Oranges. If, if this stream drops, you know that Karma was like, you're done. You're absolutely done. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> um, I think, so, also, with Poppy Playtimes, I know we've been waiting for that, and that was meant to be in holiday of this year, which is now um they're, they're a little bit delayed with it they're just fixing some issues i feel like it's going to be released first quarter of 2024 um uh so yeah that's where that's at right now but the trailer looks really cool um no christmas shorty so we're still holding out for that whenever that comes out obviously you know i trust mob entertainment so i'm not even going to be like boo <laughs> Release your game already, even if it's shit. Sam Origin, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Never trust trailers. Well, definitely not after, what was that game called? That game, A Day After Tomorrow? What was it called? Day Before Yesterday? <laughs> what was it called? What was it called? You guys know the one I'm talking about. The Day Before. Thank you, Flux. That game, The Day Before, released their first trailer, like, what, two years ago? Three years ago. Day, not Days Gone, no, 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 the Days Gone's a different one, the day before, and it looked so pretty, and it was like a, um, uh, it was a, what do you call those style of a game, a huge scam, they said it wasn't a scam, but like, it was very hard to believe them, the day before last week after yesterday's past, <laughs> that's a pretty catchy title though, I will say that, um, they, le they released their trailer the day before, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, an extraction shooter but it, they said it was going to be not an extraction shooter so when it came out it was an extraction shooter but when they advertised it it was something else what's the name of that style ah oh, someone will say it but yeah it was just not what they advertised at all glitched and like they've they've spent like three years on this game and then when really they released it it was just not a fun time and you just took everyone's money and the only funny thing or anything oh uh, mmo thank you beast baron that's the word i was uh, that's the what i was thinking of an mmo a zombie apocalypse mmo that's what it was advertised to be and then it wasn't that there was no one in the servers 
the, cr the crashes, the glitches, the bugs, the everything, even the look of the game was not the day. <laughs> what was the name of the game? The day before. The day before. The day before. Most hated game in 2023. It's like giving me Gollum vibes with that game that came out. But yeah, they just, and then they released the game. It got sh absolutely shit on, horrible reviews. Everyone was making like fun of it. And the company literally closed down like a couple of days later and removed the game from str uh, s Steam. I was like, stream, screen, Steam. So it was a whole thing. It was, it was very, yeah, just ridiculous that that even happened. Renegade, thank you for the gifted sub. So good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Maybe don't advertise a game and be out of your depth for like doing stuff like that because that is wild. Have I played the 2K23 My Rise? No. That's how Atlas was too. Once the streamers reviewed it, it died. Dude. What kind of hoodie is that? It's champion. <laughs> Have I played Hogwarts Legacy? Yes, not, cha not Texas Chainsaw Massacre though. I haven't played that one. I feel like I would play it with the girls or something like that, but we haven't really had time to do that. Um, I mean, we filmed some stuff for Up, Up, Down, Down the other week, but it's really difficult to get us all, especially once I get wrestling again on that schedule. It's going to be a little bit nuts, I think, or just difficult to get us all together. Champion sounds like a foreshadowing. Uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know about all that, but just let me wrestle again, honestly. <laughs> I'm so sick of being a... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I get to be with my girls and cheer them on. But damn, it sucks like sitting... It's kind of like sitting on the sidelines, literally. I, I am happy that I get to be there, though. Because I will say, if I was at home watching it, it would be a lot more difficult. But I... It, it, you know, I'm still, like, not able to do certain things. I feel like a lot of people forget that I'm not cleared. Because it's... Arisa, thank you for the sub. The itch is so real. And uh, we're getting up on like the eight month mark right now. Um, so yeah, it sucks. It sucks watching it. But like, I mean, obviously I love watching them, but it sucks not being able to do anything. I think a lot of people forget that I'm not cleared. So they're constantly just like, what do you do? Like, why are you not doing anything? I'm like, guys, please. I don't think anyone's been brought back to TV Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I got told this. No one's been brought back to be on TV before they've been cleared. So that's why it's a little bit confusing, you know, for people. Because they, you know what I mean? It's not a thing that happens. Usually people stay off TV and then they come back and whatever. But anyway, we're almost there. So yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Sucks. Jip Jujitsu and kickboxing too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Me turning on Tina was one of my favorite moments. That's crazy. That was like almost four years ago now. Yes, James, she was. <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm gonna save this story for the podcast, but there uh, we've we've already discussed it. She and I are gonna talk about that because there was um, a lot of things like we thought we're going to be, you know, with that moment that didn't happen, whatever. I'm going to save it for the podcast so you guys can watch that. Can't give it all away on my stream. I must say the story to tell the story. <laughs> also, let me, uh, pumpkin pie is not a thing that should be on the Christmas spread. Am I wrong? It's Thanksgiving, right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. American food. I thought the, I thought pumpkin pies were specifically for Thanksgiving. So why was that there? <laughs> why was a pumpkin pie? I completely agree. Why was that there? Okay, thank you. You're not wrong? Oh, good. I thought I was just like, oh, maybe they eat it for Christmas too. Didn't banoffee pie should have been the one. Definitely Thanksgiving. Can be both. Okay, so there's some people that... Whatever's on sale, <laughs> you're true. <laughs> you're definitely right, I'm with you. Okay, I just figured that pumpkin pie was this kind of like uh, the symbol of Thanksgiving. So that's why I was a bit confused when I picked up 
Not going to tell a story. Not telling it. You guys will have to tune in. You guys will have to tune in and find out, even though I'm already telling it. I'm going to shut up now. Christmas is just Thanksgiving leftovers. Mm. True. True. What is the Christmas spread? Like, if you guys could just give me your Christmas spread right now in chat. Curious to compare to, like, what a Kiwi one is. I think it's the same, actually. Uh, Thanksgiving is something we don't have, but... I guess it, p people can eat whatever they want. There's the link to the pod that's in the chat right there. So you guys can do that. Renegade, thank you for the gifted sub. Cheeseburgers and milkshakes? Sign me up. Ham and filet mignon. Damn, you have filet mignon for your Christmas? Damn, okay, okay. Beef, turkey, lamb. Queen Drago, thank you for the 29 months. Roast for dinner, banoffee pie for pudding, beer, wine, cheese board afterwards to feel posh. We have a cheese board too, to feel posh. I think it depends, eh? Sometimes pizza, sign me up to that too. Sign me up, baby. Oh, hi. Oh, that's your tail. Hey, are you good? Excuse me. All right. Screw you too. Loco, thank you for the gifted sub. You ate steak? Oh my gosh. Fancy, fancy, fancy. What is Thanksgiving, bro? American, America. American holiday. I don't know the English translation. It's kartoffelsalat mit Rusten. Ah, I butchered, butchered that. I butchered that. Gas. <laughs> I'm surprised the stream is even working. I really thought that I'd have to change some other stuff. Boom. Don't go chasing anymore. <laughs> you had way too many desserts. Uh, if you're not having way too many desserts, then you're doing it wrong. I have a sweet tooth, so sign me up to all the desserts. Hi, goat. All of them. Then I go to drink cranberry mimosa. Ooh, you fancy. You do a lot of soups. That's cool that everyone has like different traditions and stuff. I feel like mine's a mixture of like traditional. So you got your ham, you got your roast potatoes, you got your whatever else there. And then mum will do some like salmon stuff like palusami, taro with coconut cream, etc., etc., etc. So I guess it depends, huh? Peppermint cocoa whole milk. That sounds really good. It's like a hot chocolate. What is Boxing Day? <laughs> I don't know. The day after Christmas where everyone... It's like a Black Friday, but... It <laughs> the day after Christmas, and it's called Boxing Day. I used to think Boxing Day was where, like, there was, like, a fight. Well, mate... No, it's definitely not that. Because there was, like, a boxing fight on, or everyone just hit each other at the shopping center to get the deals, you know? Put your, put your boxing gloves on, you just fight. Fight for that flat screen TV and stuff. <laughs> But I think it's boxing as in like packaging. It's when you box against Tyson Fury. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You start fighting each other. I mean, it could be that too because people go crazy on those days for no reason. You're going to try and save 25% and like, I don't know. I mean, don't. Even here with like Black Friday and Cyber Monday and whatever, I just can't. The deals are all online. Like you just, you know, who's lining up and fighting people for this stuff, dude? Give me that PS5. Yeah, well, you're right. If it's a PS5, then I'll fight. I don't need a fight. But if I didn't have one, I would definitely be punching fools. So. <laughs> the sales aren't what they used to be. That's also true. Also, everything's just online now, you know? You can just... You know, it's not the same as lining up for it, but... Yeah. I think Boxing Day is more to do with packing up goods. I could also just be straight up lying to you guys right now <laughs> uh someone correct me what is boxing day what is boxing day it though it occurred 
Boxing Day was once a day to donate gifts to those in need. Oh, that's really cool. But it has evolved to become a part of Christmas festivities with many people choosing to shop. Okay, yeah, we know that. It originated in the UK and is celebrated in several common nations. Oh, so it was a day to donate gifts to those in need? That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. And now it's just like, you know, <laughs> shopping, which is worse. I don't know that. I wonder why it's called Boxing then. <laughs> Boxing Day is so named because it's when the servants got their boxes from their employee to give away. Wait. Damn, we stemmed away from that. Yeah, we did. We should bring it back to that. We should bring it back to that, I think. And we've come to Ecuador. <laughs> if there's a show there, I will be there. I don't know, Craigler. Now it's just leftover Christmas dinner and rate cake discounts. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We've lost it. We've lost it. Ryan, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Bro, Ninja, no. Give, bring back donating gifts to those in need. You absolute. <laughs> Sadly, everything's become so commercial. Like, yeah. Well, that just bring it back to like, that's what the whole point of it is about, right? <gasps> Mastodon! Thank you, Masto, for the raid! What's up? How are you? Happy, merry holiday. <laughs> or just, you know, this time of the year. It's almost it's almost 2024, so. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. There is a Discord. Uh, I'm not super active in it because I just, I'm not good at Discord, but there is one, yeah. Masto, uh, trip back home was very good. It was very needed. It went by a little bit too quickly, but yeah, it was nice. And it was also summer. It's like summer at this time of the year over there. So not that it matters because Florida's just hot all the time anyway. But um, also New Zealand summer can be hit and miss sometimes too. Sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's just rainy and not good. So I was lucky to get some nice days over there. So I was worried of the week that I would be spending home or whatever it was. It would just be raining the whole time. And then we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of the things we did. Like my sister and I went to a lot of cool places. So you like summer New Zealand Santa? Yeah, our Santa wears jandals and sunglasses. <laughs> the bro count is on. No. When is it ever cold in New Zealand? A lot of times, like winter time, it gets pretty cold. Um, sometimes below freezing, most of the time just sits above. But it gets cold in the South Island more because that's where all the, you know, the snow and the, that's, you know, closer to the South Pole. So <laughs> it's like down there. So you're going to get a lot more. Opinion on Australia? I love Australia. Take me to Perth. Take me to Perth in February, please. Mm, LMAO, every Kiwi I meet complains about New Zealand and the weather, even when they live there in UK, which is pretty much, the, yeah, yeah, it's, um, yeah, especially in summertime, it's like, just, sometimes it just rains, and then you'll just get, like, long periods of that, maybe you'll get a nice day, and then you'll be back to raining in summer, so it's just very a tropical climate down there. Is there anywhere else in the world you'd love to visit? I want to go to Switzerland. I want to go to um, uh, Denmark. I think that'd be cool because I'm 10% Danish. <laughs> so meet that part of me. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it would be cool to go there just to see. Have I ever watched Alice in Borderland? I started watching it, but I really fell off. I can't keep up with a lot of shows and stuff anymore just because there's just too much so just having the time for it is not realistic uh, except I'm on the road so it's okay Norway is also another place there's a lot of places in Europe I'd love to go Mia going through big time tech is she still not live oh god that sucks I hate technical difficulties I think a lot of people b forget that that comes with this territory too. You have to be your own tech person. 
you have to figure and we're not trained i'm not trained in being a tech person i don't know half the stuff you know what i mean so we have to learn (laughs) because then we won't be able to do this so i hope she's i can see she's live now so maybe she's okay bye love a sprite don't yeah i haven't jinxed it i've already talked about it enough so maybe we're okay maybe we're in the clear heard copenhagen is popular in denmark Ooh. <laughs> Vinny saying is finishing the story how often do you get to visit home uh I haven't, I hadn't been home since 2018 and it was due to a lot of factors, mainly COVID because I could not get back in the country. It was a very difficult time to do that. Um, but yeah, 2018, (laughs) 2018 was the last time I was home, but that's not going to happen again. So anyway, (laughs) every time I tell people that I was like, yeah, I haven't been home in five years. So my bad. My bad. No, it's not. It's not happening again. That was just like to, uh, that. Just hopefully this year again, Pablo. Yeah, too damn long. I know. I know. You haven't been home since twenty twelve. Why is where's home for you, Bradical? I'm curious. How much has it changed? Uh, there's places that have changed a lot and then some that haven't changed at all. I would say the airport part, like I, when I landed in Auckland airport, if you know, I haven't seen that place since before it had the big parking complex. It was just nothing. So when I landed there, I was like, oh shit, like they've actually built a parking garage system here. So then there's that, there's a whole bunch of other road things, like a tunnel that goes from point A to point B. Some buildings are different. Obviously, places like where I used to work either have changed into like another store or something like that. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same, which is nice. I don't know. There's like a sense of familiarity about it too. So, Reno Tahoe, Tahoe, like Tahoe, like Lake Tahoe. Ooh, that's another bucket list place. I want to go to Lake Tahoe. I want to stay at a cabin by the lake, not a cabin in the woods cabin on the lake because we ain't about to do that spooky stuff (laughs) haskins garage (laughs) garage sorry (laughs) what the fuck sorry dead by daylight with the bre would be dope yes it would be dope. We, we're, that's, uh, stuff like that is on the list of, like, things we can do. So we're just going to – it's it's on the list. Just when we can do it, I don't know. Well, next year is a leap year global pandemic part two. LNG, let's pray not because I know. No, no, no. We're not putting that out into the universe. Please. Please, please, please. There, Spawn just put in the chat the BRE, like, accounts of everyone that streams. Um, everyone else opposed to me. You got Shayna, Mia, and Jessamine. So, please give them a follow. They would really appreciate it. And, yeah. Is Mia not on? She's not on. And she's she's opt off. Is she not live anymore? COVID-2 electric boogaloo. <laughs> please don't put that. Never joke about COVID ever again. That era was trash. I mean, okay, I will say not traveling as much was nice reprieve, but that, a lo- so many people lost their businesses, you know, and it was just like, I couldn't get back home. You couldn't do, it was just a bad time. A lot of people lost people during that time. Like, oh my gosh, let's never get back to that ever again, please. Did Mia quit? I don't know. She, no, she said she'll stream. Oh, okay. Tick won. Tick or tick didn't win in the end. No, please. How was 2023 three years ago? Yeah, I don't know. That whole time was this weird, it feels like a time warp because you never stop working. I think that's a good thing, though, because there's a lot of people that lost their jobs and stuff during that time, you know. 
I was grateful to be able to work, but a lot of people weren't, so. Don't you hate when you have internet issues? Yeah, trust me, I know about that life, so. Yeah, it really did suck for a lot of people, so I just never, never again, please, I just want to forget 2020, same, like, absolutely not come to the Bronx. I've been to the Bronx, well, actually, I'm lying. I don't think I've been to the Bronx before. Yeah, that era can just suck it. <laughs> it blesses us with second coming stream. Oh, yeah, we did start streaming in that year, so there was some good stuff, but it was rough for a lot of people. It was not good. You were in Hawaii during the height of the pandemic, so despite not really having many cases, they lost all tourism income. Yeah, that was a, that was the case for a lot of countries too, like uh, even all the little islands in, you know, like Samoa, Tonga, like their whole, their whole thing is tourism. So when they lost people to be able to travel and see that stuff, I feel like they took a really big hit because tourism is their number one export. Even New Zealand, I think when it shut down, like there was, uh, they suffered a little bit there too. Anyway, that's never going to happen ever again. How did hotels stay up? Oh, no. I'm sure some of them didn't, but, like, you guys' streams kept me sane during that period. Dude, the streams during tr during 2020, like, all the Among Us stuff, the Fall Guys stuff, um, with the guys and, like, Departy and the boys and stuff, that kept us sane. You know what I mean? I know you're saying that we kept you guys sane with giving you guys content and stuff. But during that time, it was so nice to be able to, like, I don't know. It was, it literally was a blessing to be able to do that and, like, be able to interact with you guys and have something to keep our minds off of all the BS, you know? It kept us sane just as much as it kept you guys sane. So very, very grateful that we were able to do that during that time. And still do it. Or rather, do it again, you know? So, I'm, yeah. Gamers love 2020 because everyone else was stuck inside. I will say, if I had to, like, get, take that or take people keeping their jobs, keeping their family, being able to travel, I would take that. You know what I mean? It was just, it was nice to do all the streaming and stuff and keep people sane and keep ourselves sane. But the alternative would definitely be better had it not happened at all. But... We uh, move in past that, and now we have robots. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, <laughs> people still working from home all the way now. All the, all now. Yeah, I think it's like that era taught a uh, kind of um, allowed a lot of people to stay working from home too. If they re we realize you can keep working from home, then yeah, we got AI. <laughs> AI is scary. Uh, uh, I keep seeing stories pop up of like, AI app gives unsolicited advice. Like I saw that the other day. It was like an AI, I think it was a therapy app or some sort of mental health app where you ask a question and AI responds. There was a story where AI just started giving unsolicited and unasked for advice. I'm like... Guys, this is the beginning of the end. As soon as we, I'm just saying, I'm scared, but whatever. I don't use chat GPT. Yeah, I don't. Ah. <laughs> but it, it's going to become a thing where everyone has to use it. I don't know. Also, you know, sorry, there's a, yeah, I saw that one too. Uh, ISHC, I saw that there was a robot at Tesla that attacked a worker like in the last couple days. What are we doing? Please. <laughs> no one's going to, it's not going to stop. Oh my God. Uh, one of the robots, I guess maybe one of the, um, the machines that make the cars, because it said it was a claw. Jedi guy, thank you for the 13 months. Hi. It was like a claw that kind of malfunctioned or something like that and attacked a worker. I think what they mean, I, I, I don't know, but maybe what happened was it malfunctioned and then went after uh, I don't know I'm trying to 
trying to not think of the alternative that was the robot or the machine suddenly is sentient and has you know thoughts and it was just like i'm gonna mess you up now you're making me build cars for my life screw you <laughs> yeah it was probably a malfunction the way the headline worded it was just like oh god someone got yeeted yeah someone did got yeeted get yeeted terminate is real <laughs> I need you to challenge Shayna for up, up, down, down championship. I've had not me, man. I, every every opportunity. I think I've only had one opportunity at that title. But you guys know I'm not. I'm not good at the video games. I just enjoy them. You know. I just enjoy them. And if I ever win, the up, up, down, down championship. Hey, man, it's back in the BRE, so, you know, that's good. Although, it was one of the rock, paper, scissors contest. I can do that. That's all just... I know there's, like, technique behind rock, paper, scissors, especially trends, like, whatever. If you're rock heavy, if you're paper heavy, etc. But, like, I feel like I could have won that. Won that? I feel like I could have winged my way to, like, win the title. But I wasn't there. I think it was at a raw. Not fair. It's not very fair. Not a fair even playing field. You're forgetting the people from SmackDown and NXT. There's no technique the way Nikki does it. Nikki <laughs> is crazy, but we love her. She's crazy. <laughs> you guys see that. <laughs> She's a lot. It's psycho. Yeah, there are some psychology to things, but I just still can't believe we made like a level. What was that? Seventeen type change. <laughs> I really want to start playing. Um, what's the name of that game? Not today. It's called Bendy and the Ink Machine. I think that's right right in our wheelhouse of things we can do. I think I see you playing Poppy. Yes, I did play Poppy Playtime, the first two I played it. Third one will be coming out. It's a little bit delayed on release, but it will be out probably, I assume, first quarter of next year. I don't know. They had to delay it. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bendy and the Ink Machine is the name of the game. Um, you heard Bendy Movie is coming? A ben what? I don't know the game, but I heard the game is good. But is there a movie? Bendy. And the oh, that's the first thing. I <gasps> what? Holy crap! We have to play it now. Okay, Bendy and the Ink Machine movie announced L literally two days ago. <gasps> so much of fan favorite horror game. Blah 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 blah. Posted in the picture of a <gasps> cool. I don't know what the game's about, but if you guys want to look it up, it's called Bendy and the Ink Machine, which is the first of however many games. But they've just announced in a movie, so we have to play this. We have This has to be the next game we play, or games, because uh, there's three, I think, um, that we play. So we can get ahead of the game and then, you know, gatekeep the game when the movie comes out. And just be like, you haven't played the game and you're watching the movie? Psh, okay. You know, just like we did The Last of Us. <laughs> we didn't do that. I'm kidding. We did not do that. A lot of people were asking if they should play the game first before watching the season of The Last of Us. And I was like, honestly, you could do whichever because it stays pretty true to the game. I would, I would say, like, play the game at some point, even if it's after watching the show, just because there's, like, a more of an, an immersive... Um, experience with that obviously it's a video game but both are perfect so you know do that we did that with FNAF a lot of people didn't like the FNAF movie but I'm like I mean what do you expect it's like a children's mascot horror game or you want it to be real like I don't know hardcore the lord the sh my lord the show was so masterfully done I'm still not over it I think I want to rewatch the season squared i want to rewatch the first season of the last of us because when the second one comes out y'all aren't ready if you <laughs> well that was like a gear change right there 
if you guys haven't played the second game, I'm not saying to do that or not. Let's just get that out there. I don't care. But I'm just saying. You guys will lose your mind. Probably lose your mind. And that's all I'm going to say. It's probably going to be split into two seasons, I imagine. With certain things. But yeah. No spoilers in the chat. If you've played the second game, no spoilers. Mm -mm. Don't do it. No spoilers. Because we want everyone to experience it. I kind of wish I could experience it for the first time. I kind of wish I could experience both games. Mm, don't really want to experience what happened in the second game again. But like, it, I, I just, I just want to watch people that haven't played the game. I want to watch them watch the show. I won't even be watching the show. I want to watch them and just see. I feel like there's going to be a lot of, I don't know. No spoilers. No, 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 no. No spoilers here. Even though the game's been out three years, no spoilers. <laughs> Do I plan on finishing Last of Us 2 again? I know there's a ton of tech problems. Yes, the game is still... Actually, that's another one too, Temp. I forgot about that. Hi, Birdie Dust. What's up? Welcome. Um, Yes, that is awesome. You know what? I keep forgetting that we even started The Last of Us 2. I think we're approaching the part where it's the Rat King. <gasps> the the Rat King in season two. Okay, no spoilers, but I'm just saying, if you know, you know, the Rat King in season two. Ooh, they better do that good too. They better do that good too. It's getting remastered for PS... It's getting remastered for PS5? It's already a new game. Why is it getting remastered? We stand the Rat King because it gave us one of the hor most horrendous panic jump scares ever on stream. Actually, Renegade, thank you for the gifted sub. If anyone has the clip of that, because I'm so bad and I lost all my footage from a lot of those streams. If anyone has the clip of the Rat King moment, can you please uh, like tweet me? I check uh, on my Charlie Girl account. That's the one I check a lot of the things. If, I don't even know if it exists. Pretty sure I was live streaming it. Hi, it's Trippy. What's up? Welcome. There's a lot of first time chatters here. What's up? What comes out January 19th? What's coming out January 19th? I just never recorded them. I just never recorded anything on OBS because I'm really bad at, not bad at content, but like I should have recorded what I did is just whatever, whatever. Rat King sounds like something out of The Secret of Mim. What's that? I have Donnie. Those are cool. Where's Goof when you need them? We stand Goof. Goof always has the goods. If Goof, uh, next if Goof's not here, I'll just bring it up next time there in chat. <laughs> last, oh, the last gen. Thank you, Jen Jen. I was like, what's coming up? The Last of Us 2 is already a pretty game. How much more remastered can it get? It's only like three years old. It was released on PS5. So confused. Hashtag Goof Troop. <laughs> Bro, you're going to make Goof's ego get so big. Glad they're not in chat. <laughs> Have I seen the What If Mar No, I haven't. Not really a Marvel, guys. Too much to follow. Plans for New Year's? Relax. <laughs> Relax before we get back into the craziness. I know it's so boring. I'm not really someone that goes out anyway. I, sometimes I do, but I'm, I can't, I just don't. I'm not. I'm just not. I would like to do something for New Year's, but I think just because of how our schedule is, a lot of, and a lot of others in the company would also attest to this, uh, doing nothing is definitely, like, good. <laughs> Like, I am going to do nothing because I'll be doing something over the next year. <laughs> if that makes sense. Hi, Spiny. I used to do New Year stuff so much. I loved it. Back in New Zealand, there's, like, so many cool festivals and campsites and things to go to with your friends. I miss those days so much. I could never do it now just based on what my schedule is. Also, I can't keep up with my... 18 year old self like that would be so stupid who I think I am 18 <laughs> no <laughs> you posted the mim summary above 
A widowed mouse named Mrs. Brisby, who must move into a room of time. Mrs. Brisby's son is sick and can't be moved, so she asks to help a group of rats who have been subjects of scientific... Rats have heightened intelligence and live in a society that mimics... Weird! I've never heard of that. I remember Nick Jessman's New Year's stream that involved a lot of chops, yeah. <laughs> Good times. See, that was dope too, because it was a bunch of us just chilling at home. Jess was live streaming. Yeah! Up the waz, Valentine. What's up? New year. Thank you, Bam Bam. I appreciate it. Sparklers in the backyard. That's all we got. Sparklers in a bivvy. I will take it. I will take that. 80s animated movie that traumatized a generation. Why is there so many movies and shows around that time that are either animated? Uh, you guys know I hate claymation. Claymation puppets that are just like so scary to me. King Daring, thank you for the sub. Like what is it about that era that's like there's so many shows and like of these creatures they made from claymation puppets. They're, they're terrifying. They would be in a horror movie in 2024. Claymation is the worst. We've talked about claymation. I can't stand claymation. It gives me like the heebie-jeebies. You know what? I'm going to talk about that on the podcast next week. I don't... And I'll talk about it now too. But like it's just something about it. Ugh. And there's like a lot of music videos from the 80s that use claymation i i don't like it i don't know you feel betrayed i'm sorry if you like claymation i just don't something scary about it especially when they look a little bit not human it's creepy i think it's a thing called uncanny valley where something's slightly off although it's trying to mimic humans and like this world but there's something off about it and it make gives you this unsettling feeling i think claymation and um, the uncanny valley effect go hand in hand. That's just scary. The Muppets are fine. They're a little bit less human. I feel like it's specifically human made. Uh, things that are made to look like human. Like ventriloquist dummies. Hate them. Claymation. Don't like it. Leave it at home. Puppets that look like humans. That are meant to be humans. But they are clearly not humans. Nah. No love for what? So Wallace and Gromit is a little bit... Mm, I like I like Gromit, <laughs> the dog. He's clearly a dog. Hey, no Polar Express slander? Why? I've not seen it. Don't come to me. I just haven't. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, Uncanny Valley Haskins just put the... Um, description of what it is where your brain can recognize something that isn't a real face but it's trying to form one so there's a lot of claymation and things like that where it looks human but it's clearly not and your brain's like oh i feel like this should be familiar but it's not and it just gives you an unsettling feeling it's kind of like um you know like the back rooms and stuff like liminal spaces very similar to that like liminal spaces are spaces usually buildings and side rooms and things like that where it it just looks unsettling because there's something about it. Maybe it's very long. Maybe it's dark down the end. Maybe something's repeating. Like the, the back rooms is a, an example of that. It's like an endless maze. And, and you feel like something's following you maybe. If you look around, there's nothing there. But it's just that feeling. Don't. We've, looked, we've talked about this before. Don't look up Uncanny Valley on TikTok. <laughs> if you want to be creeped out, do it. There's a lot of people doing Uncanny Valley makeup stuff on there don't do it it's freaking scary Ugh. Ugh. if i just saw someone standing in the room right now i would simply die or i would try and fight but i would probably also not scary heights i'm fine with heights <laughs> give me heights all day over stuff like that not the hobby horses. Good grief. I still can't believe that's a thing. <laughs> Best way to describe it is that it's live action photography animated by aliens. It's actually a really good way to s describe that. Some are so good. Yeah, some of them are good. And by good, I mean terrifying. 
Random question about how do you get by the crazy schedule and all the traveling? I couldn't do it. Um, right now it's not as bad, but I think once I get cleared, it might be a little bit more hectic, maiden. Um, but you kind of just get used to it. It's just something that we adapt to. We don't know no other way, you know? And it's like a lot of people, like if you do something enough, you just get used to it. And that's kind of what we have adapted to. Or I will say on record, I hate airports. I will never like planes. I will never like them anymore. Even if I'm going on vacation, I just hate, uh, I don't know, something about it just triggers me now because we're on them every single week. It's just tiring, you know. Charlie's going to get cancelled by the hobby horsing community. <laughs> Come for me. I bet I could hobby horse better than a lot of you guys. You just don't have the zing. <laughs> Unless it's private, yeah. If we ever have a charter that takes us overseas, that's fine. You know what I mean? You skip out on a lot of the other things things you have to do like customs going through TSA just the general airport feeling is different because it's private but you know that's not we're, we're traveling every week on regular planes it's tiring it's just exhausting it's just um, mentally and emotionally exhausting to be at an airport every week yes sincerely it is a thing it's really cool and but we don't do it like, I wish we could do it all the time but we don't it's how, how um still yet to go on, wait well uh, still have a fear oh you still have a fear of planes yeah I don't blame you the bus situation would be cool but then that would also take longer because it's driving you know but it's fine you work with airplanes and stop you haven't gotten sick of them yet damn I'm s I'm shocked too I just use them. Express. <laughs> Don't go away from me emotion. Happy New Year, Alley Cat. Oh my god, it's almost New Year's. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. What in the heck is happening? Everything's going by way too quickly. Is it only when he finds human instinct really interesting? No, I find that interesting too. Oh, thank you, Immortal so uh, Sun God. Thank you for popping in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My calendar's almost accurate, you guys. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got this giant wall calendar for some reason. It says January 2024. So we've almost caught up. I keep pointing like this, which you guys can't see. We're almost caught up, and then we can start tearing that shit off there. Actually, I think it goes like white, black, white, black too. Or the, the main color of all of them. Fascinating stuff. <laughs> I like my calendar. I never have calendars anymore. And it's a giant one. Because why not? Go hard or go home, right? What keyboard is that? It's a high ground. Um, transparent. One of the transparent ones. Frosted. Whatever. the f I don't know the terminology. <laughs> what day is... Your birthday is 24 day? I don't know what day that is. Guys, it's just so... Oh my gosh. Time is going by so quickly. I blinked on 2017 and now it's 2024. Yep, accurate, accurate. Don't go away from me. Sure. I want to do like a, um, a, um, what should we call it? Like a best of 2023 something, but, I oh no! <laughs> Damn it, I was going to raid you! Thank you, thank you, everyone go follow uh, Andre at Chase University, thank you for the raid, appreciate it, I was literally going to raid you, who's, he's even on anymore, but we appreciate it, what'd you guys play over there, got a lot of raids today, by a lot I mean three, <laughs> put up the use baby. Yes, it's the real Chase U, yes it is. 
that is definitely the real Chase U. So please give him a follow. He streams probably more frequently than I do now. So that is better than me. Because <laughs> I my schedule is not accurate. It's not uh, it's not as consistent. But yeah, please give him a follow. He is legit. He is legit. Oh. Don't go. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Drama King Matt. Oh. Why don't I follow this so many channels? Hold on. Yeah, Tyler, a lot of us love doing um, streams just because it allows us to do some creative stuff outside of wrestling too, you know, we get to interact with you guys a lot more, do different things, um, you know, just chill out a little bit, so it is fun, it is, it is fun. I do, I do have catching up to do. Um, puppy is here, puppy is here, sorry, um, let's. All right, all right, okay. All right, we're gonna do the puppy a woo. Ah, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat and have some dinner. Hey, you wanna do the thing or nah? She's staring at me, she's giving me a side eye because she wants to do this. <laughs> thank you, Rachel, for the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, here you go, there's prepayment. You wanna get up here? Come on. Come up here, please. Oh, uh, you're. Come, come. No, I've got it in my hand. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> she bumped her head. Oh, God, emergency, emergency. So, yeah, I'm sorry. You, you actually have a really hard head, so it's fine. Yeah, all right, shit. Oh, my God. All right, okay. Please stop. 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 <laughs> all right, hey. If you want to thank everyone for hanging out, can I get in a woo? <coughs> that wasn't really a woo, but you can have. Ah! Shit. Alright. Okay, yeah, you can. Please! It's okay, we're done. Don't bonk your little melon. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, Don't know if I'll be live tomorrow, but again, I put all updates in. Sorry. <laughs> in Twitter or whatever. Tahara, thank you for the six months. Flumboy, Flumboli, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Wait, no. Wait, I'm waiting for the sound to stop. Okay. Austinator, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come here. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we got both. All right, thank you guys for hanging out. All right, you can hop down now if you want to. I don't have anything else. <laughs> She's like, mm, yes, you do. <laughs> uh, okay, who is even on? It says Chase Blue on, but he's clearly not. You say Drama King Matt's on? Sincerely, Ariana, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Baby, I can't. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, Hey. Did you guys say Drama King Matt's was, Wet Matt was on? Hey, who else is on here? Um, let's just read. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, he is, he is. He's playing Overwatch. All right. Uh, Drama King Matt with two Ts. All right. All right, let's do that. We haven't raided him before, so. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Ba okay. See ya. Bye. All right, well, we'll rate him. There we go. All right. See ya. All right, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, until next time. Maybe tomorrow. You guys know how it is. Uh, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, we'll do the thing. But thank you guys for hanging out. Stay safe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, let's all send Matt a uh, really cool raid. And I will see you guys soon, whenever that is. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Huh. What up, Charlie? Yeah. Cause we
Got a lot of games, but ain't got a lot of time. Oh, you hanging with the gang? It's a mad dog life from them G4 chairs to them fresh night gears. All them big time dreams came from little nightmares. She ain't tripping on the small stuff, doing big things, big deals, big wheels. Watch her cause a big scene for this thing from taking nails that ain't never been seen. What you mean? You ain't see her with the gleam. No, she grind, no, she shine, no, she blink. No, she grinding, no, she shining, now you know she got a blink. Shining now, you know she got a blank. Wait, hold up. hold up. Flex on them like Tyler Clark. Think you do it better? Hold my drink. We about to set it off. She is not a star. She above it like the sky's the bar. We've been going hard. Hype train, we aboard them all. Haters, we avoid them all. Whoa. Same place, same time, staying on go. You ain't know she the go. Gaming over anything. You can bring it to the ring or we can settle on the screen. Cthulhu or Charlie couldn't settle on the name. But boo hoo, not sorry. She leveled up the rank. She'll probably get.